I feel like everything may have been photographed. You know, if, and if it has been, it's not to say that, that those photographs are good at looking at the world. Just because it's been sort of cataloged or processed through that machine once or a hundred times or whatever, that really the, the trick with the photograph is to, to get it to act up and to do more than that. I'm gonna make two of these. I'm gonna shoot it one time with the bananas still, hopefully, and then one time with the longer exposure with the bananas moving. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I work mostly in my living room, so it becomes about how to make that interesting for me to look at, for the most part. And so, you know, I, I use backdrops and I use, um, sort of all sorts of materials to sort of help bring these things into life and get you to really look at the object. Um, I think objects that, that are sort of, that have something pathetic about them are really attractive to me. Yes, I always work really fast. I'll go to dollar stores and places like that, or sometimes I you know, pick up a hubcap off the street, and we'll sort of bring them into the studio, and they'll stay in the studio for a while. Oftentimes, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do with them. And when I'm working, I just sort of go to work and sort of start to develop a problem and, and, and I, sometimes an object will really give me a sort of simple problem to deal with and other times it's much more a kind of flirtation with the objects in the studio that something sort of gets pulled out of it. Those are those styrofoam forums I was talking about earlier. I feel sometimes like the objects I use are sort of stand-ins for other objects. You know, they're like objects that, that are sort of performing the role of the object in front of the camera, although they're not the sort of traditional object in front of the camera. You know, I, I work full time, so, so I usually shoot at night. I like to shoot with a four by five camera, uh, which you know has to be on a tripod, so it has these sort of rules built into it. You know, maybe that's really where the choices start, is that you know, these are the sort of conditions of the situation, and then from there I can you know, buy objects and sort of bring them home and deal with these things. This is ridiculous. I'll sort of mess around and keep moving and keep moving things. And, and when they click in, it's, it's really much more about me seeing it than it is about me constructing it. The foam isn't working. Um, I think the, I, I, I think uh, maybe I was a little too invested in it as a material to begin with. Um, it, I can't say exactly why. Um, I mean, there's got to be something to do with it. But I don't know. Sometimes things just have to sit around my studio for a long time before I sort of figure out what to do with them, and this may just be one of those things. I'll make, you know, 20, 25 pictures a week, and maybe one or two of them really work. A picture that's successful for me is to have it not fall into a category. 
For me, the most sort of satisfying or interesting thing about making a new picture is, is a picture that you really have to look at to sort of come to terms with, that it, there's no way to sort of stand away from it and just know what it is. Or do, do you make keeping the consent to have details with this? And go slow and... I don't know. Three, four. Four. Okay. I think we have to pick. This stuff is never going to come up. 